praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel reading for today is like a court trial. Our Lord Jesus is His own attorney. He does not have any defense attorney. Jesus Himself defends Himself. The accusation of the Jews, blasphemy. Jesus is making Himself equal to God. But in so many words in the Gospel today, the Lord proves His divine origin. This, my dear brothers and sisters, is what happened during the first Holy Week before the judges in front of him, the Jewish leaders during his time. Today we continue with yesterday's dialogue or conversation or like an argument between the Lord and the Jewish religious leaders. Our Lord asserts that He comes from the Father and He does only what the Father requires. He does only the works of the Father. In the Gospel reading for today, our Lord Jesus gives a list of witnesses, a list of evidence, a list of proofs that He comes from God. Our Lord reaffirms that God Himself is the witness to the truth of all that Jesus says. And in the Gospel today, there are four ways by which God witnesses to Jesus. Number one, the testimony of John the Baptist. Although it was only a human testimony, John the Baptist testified in the name of the Lord. And John the Baptist also, during his public ministry, proved and testified about the divine origin of Jesus. The second proof, the works of Jesus give clear testimony of the divine origin of all that Jesus does. The miracles, especially the miracles of healing and feeding and teaching. The Lord says in the Gospel, The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. The third proof or evidence. The Father Himself has given testimony, although that has not been seen directly by some of the Jews. Remember that instance when there was a voice from heaven that says, This is my Son, the Beloved. Listen to Him. And that is the voice of the Father. And the fourth and last evidence. A careful reading of the scriptures will show that they give testimony to Jesus. That is why the Lord says, You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even the scriptures testify on my behalf, but you do not want to come to me to have life. That is why at the end of today's gospel, our Lord mentions Moses. Jesus will not accuse them before his father, Moses, in whom the Jewish leaders claim to believe, will be their accuser. And the Lord says, If you have believed Moses, you would have believed me, because even Moses wrote about me. So dear brothers and sisters, these are the testimonies. This is the list of evidence, the list of proof to proclaim and to describe and to claim that Jesus has a divine origin. But the Jews would not listen. And to make the long story short, this sham of a trial will end up in his crucifixion on the cross on the first Good Friday. 
Amén. Prayers of the Faithful